Hey guys, it's uh, Mr. Welch. Uh, this video is actually for Mr. Welch and for Mr. Henry's Algebra 2 classes. Um, and so I just want to make sure everybody's aware of, of how it's going to work. Now, we have to assume that first you're able to get into OneNote. Um, if you don't know how to get into OneNote, see Mr. Welch, see Mr. Henry, or watch the video that uh, should be posted either in Canvas um, or uh, you might get an email if you need some more help with that. Um, and so what we need you to do is you need to be able to get onto OneNote and show that you know how to access materials. And then, you know, um, I'm asking that you, you show me that either via, you can send me a screen capture in an email, just a copy paste of a screen capture, or show it to me during class. Say, hey, Mr. Welch, see, I can get onto OneNote. That's going to be a grade for my class. I assume Mr. Uh, Henry will probably do something similar. So once you log in, you won't see all these student names. Did you see where my mouse is at? That's just because I'm the teacher here and you won't have a teacher only. You will have your own folders and my guess is it'll probably say quarter projects on it. You really don't need to worry about that. There's a good chance we won't even use those anyway. Um, but what you are going to focus on is this content library. If it doesn't have a bunch of stuff open yet, you're going to want to click on that content library. This is where you're going to find all of the resources we're going to use throughout the year. For instance, first thing you're going to find on the top tab is a syllabus. Now this is Mr. Welch's syllabus. I think Mr. Gonzalez's is, or Mr. Henry's is essentially the same thing, um, and uh, and we kind of go from there. Okay, so that's something you can talk about in your class. Then below that are the homework assignments. This is for the entire quarter or for the entire semester. We'll have them posted again for second semester as well. Now, Mr. Henry, your guys's class is only on B day, so you'll click on this B day schedule, and you can see that on the twenty seventh. We're doing 2.1, and this is the problems assigned to you. On the 9th, on, on uh, September 1st, which is your second class period, here's the assignment, and so on. And you can see all the way through. You notice these little yellow ones, those are our remote days. Those are our remote Fridays. Yes, you're still going to be assigned an assignment on those remote days. And uh, good news is we'll have finished a test before that first one. For B day, we kind of had to flip some things, so we're actually gonna we'll have a little hiccup. We'll explain when we get a little closer to that in September. But this is your schedule for the entire year. Now you say, okay, but Mr. Welch, I see that I'm on 2.1. Oh, by the way, just real quick, A day kids, you have a slightly different schedule because the dates are matching for A days, um, and so you'll see the same thing here. This class is the A days are going to be taking their test on a Monday following a review on a on a remote day. So it's slightly off to start, but it, it balances out towards the end. We're well, saying, okay, but Mr. Welch, you're saying do 2.1, here's the chat, here's the problems, but how do I find them? Where's the textbook? Well the good news. If I look here, there's chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and so on. The first number in the section is the chapter. So I'm gonna go to chapter two and there's 2.1. So I go to 2.1 and here is all of our resources. This is what you traditionally find in a textbook. Notes and things that you can read to kind of have an example of what you're supposed to be doing. They even tell you, okay, this is example two. So then when I come down into the actual homework, it'll tell me, hey, there's something very similar. You can see all these different example problems that you're more than welcome to read through. See right here, it says example one. That example one tells me that if I need to know how to do this set of the homework, I can go look at example one. Down here, example two. I go look at example two. It'll show me how to do this part of the homework. That being said, Mr. Welch, Mr. Henry, we're going to produce videos like this where we can help you. Now, I might eventually post those videos along the side, uh, or I might post them right here at the top. But on this same page that you have your homework, you're going to have the videos that help you with that homework. And so this is something you're going to want to uh, use and, and go back and forth to over and over again. So homework assignment right here. You might want to write those problems down. Maybe Mr. Welch will be nice and write them here on the page. But the truth is you're never going to be able to see everything at the same place. And so you're going to need to write it down on your paper anyway. If it makes you happy, you can print this off. Um, you're more than welcome to print this page off. You can even open up the PDF and print it off. Personally, um, I, I probably wouldn't put it off because what's the point? I'm going to write on a piece of paper anyway. Uh, but that's that's me. Yeah, your choice, your deal. Um, you can see that we have, you know, our review days built in, all that stuff. So each chapter is broken down. There will be test reviews uh, built in. If I go to like chapter four, 
There's a chapter four test review. There will be reviews built into these assignments um, that, that help you out. One other thing that you're going to want to know about, so I'm working on 2.2 here. I'm trying to do the best I can, and uh, <clears throat> maybe I'm really struggling with number 16 through 19. I just don't seem to understand how to tell if it's a function or not. Or I think I'm doing it, but I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. So I could look at the chapter two solutions. Okay, and if I go in here, I'm looking at 2.1, let's say number 17. So I come through here, I'm looking for 2.1. Uh, 2.1 skills practice is where it starts. There's one, three, five, 11. It does skip some of them, but for the most part, it has the odd ones. There's number 17. No, the input negative two has more than one output. So now when I go back to 2.1, I'm looking at number 17, maybe I can figure out why. There's negative two there and negative two there. Oh, that's what we're looking at. So hopefully this helps you understand how to manipulate and maneuver your way through OneNote. Um, again, you go to the homework assignment, figure out what you're doing, then go find that in the textbook and watch the videos and resources that'll be there. All right, good luck. Hopefully this will get you a basic idea of how you're gonna get through class. And this is gonna be consistent whether we're in class or we're remote. The resources are in the same place all the time. All right, we'll see you in class.